Hi, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I'm here with Dyer Supplier to demonstrate how you can kettle dye some yarn with Kool-Aid packets in the microwave. I started my original yarn dyeing adventures using Kool-Aid and wool-based yarns, and so I'm really excited to share this project with you today. This is the Marled Sock Yarn Base from Dyer Supplier, which has this beautiful gray twist with two plies that are a darker gray, two plies that are a lighter gray. The yarn is 40% merino wool, 40% Peruvian fine highland wool, and 20% nylon. Dyeing yarn with food coloring or Kool-Aid is a lot of fun, but you want to make sure that you have a protein-based fiber, wool, apaca, silk. Um, this technique won't work on synthetics and cotton. Since all of the dye is food safe, this is a great kind of project to work on with your kids. In addition to the artificial food coloring, uh, these Kool-Aid packets contain citric acid. So we don't need to add any additional acid to our pot in order to dye our yarn into a brilliant color. If you cannot find Kool-Aid packets in your local grocery store, you can create similar effects with food coloring by getting some kind of liquid or gel drops and then adding citric acid or vinegar into your dye pot. I filled my two quart Pyrex dish with six cups of water and I'm gonna add two packets of grape Kool-Aid. In addition to the two packets of grape Kool-Aid, I am adding five packets of the Blue Raspberry Lemonade. Um, this color is less pigmented than the grape. Um, and I find that the grape color overall is fairly gray. Um, a lot of drink mixes don't have red number three in it, which is a much brighter pink. It has red number 40. And so for some nice purples, I sometimes enjoy um, adding some more uh, blue in with the grape. It's fun to use like a little paper towel to start to get a sense of the hue. This is a fairly grayish purple um, compared to the bright purple of my nitrile gloves, which I'm wearing just so that way I don't stain my hands. Notice on the paper towel how you see this light blue halo. That is color breaking. With artificial food colorings, reds will strike to yarn with less acid and at a much faster rate than blues, which is why you might see with a purple mixture multiple hues on your yarn. And it's really fun to take advantage of this with dip dyeing, for example. So we might see some breaking with our kettle dyeing here, but we also might not. Now I am going to add our dry yarn to the pot. If you want to get more even color coverage, um, then it is worth pre-soaking your yarn in advance. Now, the coverage will still be fairly even overall because our yarn um, is going into a cool dye bath, which means that the colors aren't necessarily gonna strike immediately. If we were using, uh, if this was a hot dye bath, we would get some of the colors strike faster, and so we would likely see more color breaking but I am just now just pressing to try to remove air to make sure that we can have access to all of the fiber with our dye. You can see that the yarn fills up the pot pretty well. So we will potentially see some nice kettle variation in here. If you want more even color coverage, uh, you can increase the water level in the pot. Now I am going to place our cool yarn in the microwave. I am going to start with five minutes on high. We want the yarn to heat up. Um, we want to get close to some bubbles and so we can start to see the colors clear. In an immersion situation like this one, I am not super concerned about uh, the yarn drying out or potentially burning. There is plenty of water in there. But if you are going to microwave something that you hand painted, I do try to do smaller increments so that way I can check and make sure that uh, things are behaving properly. Checking on our yarn, ooh, we can see that there are some colors that may have started to strike already. Um, moving it, you can see that there are a lot of blues left. Um, the color in here is very blue versus that more purpley gray that we saw before. 
Um, as I said, blues take longer to absorb, and so that is the main reason around that. But um, we still, um, we're warm, but we're still not anywhere close to hot. I'm going to go ahead and microwave for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see that we are seeing a lot less color in the pot. Um, there's still a hint of blue here, but most of it is white, cloudy, um, that comes from some of the extra stuff that's in there um, that will wash out. But most of the color, again, has bound to the yarn. Looking at the yarn, you can see some really, really subtle evidence of breaking where it looks like there's some areas on the lighter strands that look either more blue and some that look a little more pink slash purple. Uh, this is not a superwash yarn, so I do want to be careful, but I am moving it slightly so that way we can access the pigment all the way around. But uh, most of that color is currently gone. There is a hint of blue, I think, left in here, and that will absorb to the yarn as we allow it to cool off. And once the yarn has cooled completely, then we can go wash it. Our yarn is completely cool now. Since this yarn is not super wash, I do want to be gentle while washing it. But all of the color from our dye bath has gone into the yarn. Since we were dyeing with Kool-Aid versus commercial acid dyes, we will likely need a few more rinses, even though the rinse bath is initially clear of any colors. Um, I will take a bit more care when I'm washing a non-superwash yarn, um, like not letting the water run directly on top of the yarn and making sure not to rub it vigorously. I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit of some clear dish soap, there's a lot of other stuff that we do want to rinse out of this yarn. The breaking that we got is really subtle, but you can see some hints of it in the yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this a couple more times, and then we'll clean up the yarn to dry. Here is the finished dry yarn that we dyed with Kool-Aid in the microwave. We have this beautiful tonal yarn that has a lot of purple with some areas that are a little bit more pink and a little bit more blue where the food coloring colors broke. Here you can see one of the more blue patches and some of the areas that are a little more pink, but the average overall is fairly purple. The tonal yarn we created is really subtle and rich, but we did add a lot of pigment, which you can clearly see when we compare this to a bear skein of the dyer supplier Marled Sock Yarn. I love the dimension that the twist of the two different wool types bring to this yarn. How would you like to dye this yarn base? Let us know in the comments. We see the different hues in this tonal yarn, the breaking, because the, we're using a purple food coloring, which is a mixture of red number 40 and blue number one. Red food colorings absorb to yarn much, much faster than the blues, which can give us this color separation or breaking where we can see pinks, blues, and purples throughout the whole thing. Purples can be notoriously hard to dye with food coloring. And with Kool-Aid, since there's already citric acid in the mixture, you can't really reduce the amount of acid to let the colors bind slower. But breaking is beautiful, and knowing that these purples break, or really any food coloring mixture where you have reds and blues, you'll probably see some breaking. Uh, but knowing that means you can take advantage of it to create some really beautiful colorways from just one mixture. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and if you would like to see me play around with breaking purple food coloring some more, go and check out the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. You can find a link in the video description. And for more beautiful yarn that absorbs color amazingly, whether you want to use food coloring or acid dyes, head over to Dyer Supplier. They have many different ethically sourced affordable yarn bases in a variety of fiber types. And if you want to get some more solid purples, you can find all 40 Jacquard acid dye colors over there. Acid dyes, 
behave very similarly to food coloring in the way they bind to yarn, but there's more colors, and since they're developed with dyeing yarn in mind, you can achieve those solid purples that you might have had in your head. Thank you so much for watching.